Hey everyone, this is Fragger here from Achievement Hunter, here to give something new a try, which I'm calling Retroactive. We're going to explore games from the NES to the past generation and everything in between. We're going to talk about the game's history, if the game's still fun to play today, and most importantly, if the game should be released so that modern audiences can play it via a port, a re-release, or maybe even a sequel. So let's dig on right into our first episode's target, Blood. Blood was a game that was developed by 3D Realms, then Monolith Productions, and released in June of 1997, and is your traditional type of FPS from back in that kind of day, where it was very gory, strange weapons, and just difficult, as most were back then. But the thing that makes Blood very interesting is, is Blood is kind of a combination between Duke Nukem 3D and Doom, because it's got the humor of Duke, but it's got the perverse kind of nature that Doom and Doom 2 had. So it ends up being a weird kind of mishmash that works, but also has some of my favorite weapons ever, like a flare gun, which lights enemies on fire. But in the storyline of this game, you play as a man named Caleb, and you run around throwing frisbees. Crap, wrong Caleb. You run around killing cultists and demons and stuff, you know, nor normal things, normal things. And the reason that you're killing these things is because these guys betrayed you, killed your friends, and threw you into a shallow grave, so you come back pissed off with a pitchfork. So, in the end, as you can tell, it's your fairly standard FPS-type game, but it's a lot of fun to play. And that's where it really, really shines, is because in in the end, you're looking at a game that's going to play exactly like Doom, Duke Nukem, but, you know, looks different, has different guns, and plays a little bit differently. So, it's still quite a bit of fun to play today. In fact, when I was filming the footage for this game, I just kept playing it over and over and over and over, and I had so much fun playing it. And that's going to bring us to the end of the video where we're actually going to discuss what we should be done with this game. Now, currently, the publishing rights are held by Atari, so it should be an easy game to release. And I would love to see this game done in the way Duke Nukem was, where the game is half-ported, but given the rewind feature. Because what Duke Nukem 3D did on the 360 with the rewind is quite awesome. I actually like that a lot. And I would like to see more older FPSs utilize something like that. So, I think this game could really do well in this day and age, so... Maybe, maybe we'll see an arcade port of it. I mean, Monolith games are pretty popular, right? But if you want to play it right now, you can head on over to good old games and pick the game up and have a fantastic time playing it. See you guys next time.